Hey, what up guys? It's Star, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a box fights. Of course, you're going to start off with a new island, preferably the grid since it's nice and flat. You can use whatever you want to, but I prefer to use Art Deco. Today I'm going to use the Art Deco Blue Gallery. Figure out what measurements you want. I prefer to make mine 5x5, five five, but you can make yours whatever you want. I'm just going to build the box. You can build yours however you want to. This is just how I build mine. Of course, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside as nobody's going to see that. I then added a few blocks to where I can place some devices later on in the video. I'm going to start with my player spawns, equip them twice to have 10, 5 for each side. Once you do that, make sure you adjust them to be invisible and to have one team on each side. After that, I take the barrier device, I put it in the middle of the box, I like to make my barrier glossy black, be sure to measure yours out correctly like I do, and make sure it disables when receiving from channel 1. Now I'm adding a barrier outside my box, I'm making it look like a galaxy, because that's the theme I was going for. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Next I'm taking a team settings and inventory device, placing it down. Of course you can pick whatever weapons you want. I know most of you like the purple pump and blue AR. Chimneys and a slurp fish of course. Don't forget your mats and your ammo. Drop them in the order that you want them to be in your inventory. If you don't want an empty slot in your inventory, you can always adjust it to where you only have four inventory slots. Next, you can take the speaker device, pick what sound effects you want. I like to make one for when the wall drops and for when you're eliminated. For the wall drop, make sure it plays when receiving from channel 1 and elimination for channel 2. Of course, we have to test our sound effects to make sure that's what we want. Now, I take the Elimination Manager, I make sure it's invisible, and I make sure when I'm eliminated, it transmits on channel 2. If you have a message that you'd like to display before the game starts, such as your code, take the HUD message device, type in what you want, make sure it displays one second from round start, you can choose the style and the sound that it plays when it's displayed. Also make sure it's in the center, that's what I like anyway. Then take the timed objective device. Make sure it starts when the round starts, set it to 5 seconds or whatever you want, and type game starts in in the label, choose your style, make sure there's no audio effects, I don't like those so I disable them. And make sure when it's completed it transmits on channel 1. Of course it's optional, but you can put a radio device to have some background music. I like to pick the synth wave music for mine. And now 
is tap here island settings. Just copy my settings exactly. I will have the settings in the description as well. For team size, you can pick dynamic or split evenly. Dynamic allows you to pick your own team, and split evenly randomly decides who's on what team. If you don't want to wait 3 seconds before moving, you can get rid of the game start and countdown. You can pick if you want down but not out on, that way you can revive your teammates. If you want siphon, you can add that as well. we have to test it out. It's better to test with a friend. And as long as you have all the settings correct, you should be good. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you have fun on your box fights map. Never hesitate to comment if you have an issue. Enjoy!